Hey everybody, it's Aaron here with Robert, and welcome to Get Your Geek On's MCU Phase 4 Review, where we're going to talk about, you know, everything with the Phase 4, I guess, or condensed version, obviously, and choose our favorite and least favorite of them. Yeah, well, and, and really, this is kind of a, where we're going back in time as oh, well, because I think we want to compare Phase 4 to the oh, yeah, first three cool. phases also. So, yeah. you know, how does it stack up? Um, and so, really... Just for everyone's sake, and this is going to take, you know, I'll, I'll be quick, but I just want to go through <laughs> the projects that are in each phase, right? right. So phase one, one is one Iron Man, centered. the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, the first Avenger, and the Avengers. That's phase one, six projects. Phase two starts Ooh. with Iron Man 3. Then we go to Thor, the Dark World, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, mm. Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Age of Ultron, and capping off with Ant-Man is actually the final it's movie of weird. phase two. Uh, and again, six movies. So the first two phases each have six movies. Easy peasy. No, no problem. Right. Phase three, we get a little bit larger. We're going out a little bit more, but we're still only movies. So phase three, Captain America Civil War kicks it off. Then we go to Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and capping off again, not with an Avengers movie, but with Spider-Man Far From Home. So we have mm -hmm. 11 movies in phase three. So almost twice the size uh, of phases one and two, basically doubling the size of the MCU in phase right. three. And then phase four hits, <laughs> oh, and God. that is our largest toes. phase. There are 18 total projects, although, once 18. again, only seven movies. So it kind of is back a little bit from phase three in terms of movies. There are only seven right. movies. Those movies are Black Widow, <clears throat> Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, The Eternals, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Wakanda. Then we get into our TV series. So there's a, wait, wait, there's 11 series? There's eight series. And I'm going right. to get into them. Okay. Eight series, and then there's three kind of special projects, which we'll talk about in a minute. So eight series. Those are WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel and She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And then the three specials is the I Am Groot shorts, Am of Groot. which there were six, uh, the Werewolf by Night special, and the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Right. Um, so 18 total projects Jeez, in phase that's a lot. four, which is definitely the most. But again, if you look at movies only, there's only seven mm -hmm. of those, which kind of tracks with phase one and phase two. So right. all that said, there's a lot in each phase. Yeah. Um, phase four is the <clears throat> largest in terms of, you know, projects. Right. Year span, you know, actually it's interesting because the first phase went from 2008 to 2012. Mm -hmm. um, so that was actually, you know, it's five years when you think of 2008, 2009, 2010, right. 2011, 2012. Um, phase two lasted only three years, 2013, 14, and 15. Right. Then you had phase three lasted uh, four years, 2016, 17, 18, and 19. And then uh, phase, our, our final phase, uh, phase four so far, has gone again three years, 2020, 2021, 2022. So even mm -hmm. though phase one has only six projects, uh, it was spread out sure. over the longest time period. Yeah, it was longer. Yeah, projects over five years. We were just getting the ball rolling. Right. Now we had eighteen projects in three years. So That's uh, an average of six projects every year, and that includes mm -hmm. the pandemic year, which was right funny. Um, when ridiculous. we had uh, you know, just only a, a couple movies that came out. Um, and actually, I'm trying to think. I don't even. I'm trying to think, you know, WandaVision actually, did that just come out at the beginning of 2021? So actually, we didn't have any projects in 2020. So actually, this was only two years. WandaVision debuted in 2021, January of 2021. Uh, yep. And that was the first phase four project. So actually, phase four was two, two years. years and 18 projects. That's insane. See, that is, when you think of it that way, that's insane <laughs> because it's, that's just too many. 
Uh, that it does many. feel like it's maybe too many. Um, all right. Now that we've laid out the phases, I think, uh, where do you want to, do you want to just like start off with what do we, where do you want to do rankings or do you want to do like favorite, least favorite? How do you want to do that? I kind of like the favorite and least favorite because it makes it also a shorter video. <laughs> Cause all right. I think we should do it that way. Just because so do you want to do each phase or just phase four. How do you want to do this, Aaron? Because I got to remember each one that was in two and three. I, I'll um, help you. I can help you. Yeah, let's just do it. If we're doing, because that'll just be two, four. Let's just do it each phase. Because that'll just be eight. We can knock that out quick. Let, let's do it okay. that way. So phase one. Best. Phase one. Phase I think, one. I think it's it's going to come down to, for favorites, it's either the Avengers or Iron Man, right? For both of us. Oh, That's... I thought we were doing Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in that one, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. For me, it's going to be the Avengers. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite of phase one. What about you? Iron Man, I think is gonna be my favorite. Again, okay. I love the Avengers, good story, but Iron yep. Man, sure. And least favorite for me is Iron Man Two, uh, which I think will either be Ooh. that one or Incredible Hulk. I don't know which one you're gonna choose, or maybe Thor. You didn't like Thor. I didn't like Thor. I, I was gonna say I don't Thor. Know what's wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna. I, I the like makeup Thor. was so terrible in it. I mean, everything. <sighs> really? That's yes. That's the hair. The only thing. Okay. Um, I actually do like an Incredible Hulk. I think that was a good film. It's not uh, bad. So I'm not gonna go with that one. Iron Man 2, I'm trying to remember which one that one was. That's the one with Whiplash, and oh, the only cool yeah. thing in that entire movie is the suitcase armor, which is cool, but you know, I'm Whiplash that... also stands there for 20 seconds waiting for it to come on. It's like, you could just kill him. Right, you could just whip <laughs> his head off right there while he's... Okay, it's like, cool. it takes all this time for his suit to get... <laughs> you know, it's like a, it's an anime match where they're powering up. You can't hit them while they're powering right. up. That's, that's against the rules. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm still going to lean with Thor. I think that's okay. one of my least favorites, honestly. Wow. Interesting. Uh, we get into phase two, which to me has two standout projects okay. in Captain America, the Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy. And then everything else in the phase is kind of meh. You got Iron Man 3, you got Thor of the Dark World, you got Ant-Man, you got Avengers Age of Ultron, yeah. right? Which, so to me, when it comes to favorite, it's going to come down to either Captain America, the Winter Soldier, mm. or Guardians of the Galaxy. To and agree. to me, this is six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. You ask me on Monday, I'll say one. You ask me on Tuesday, the other, I'll yeah, say the switch. other. Today, I'll say the Winter Soldier is my favorite. Of this. Um. I'm going to have to lean with you on that one. I think out of all those films, those are probably the top two from that phase. And I truly will say, I will go back and watch Winter Soldier every time because there I mean, go. Guardian of the Indians I like, but we know my beef with it is Nova. So that's always going to kind of be that push away. I don't have any yeah. real beef with the Captain America. Well, I do. There's one scene I have, I hate in the Captain America Winter Soldier, which is he could not hold that helicopter, but it was still a good film. That's Civil War. Oh, that's, that's not in Winter Soldier. No, I thought that was Winter Soldier. No, because it's when Winter Soldier is escaping the compound in Civil War that he's holding onto that helicopter. Uh, okay. Do not question my MCU knowledge. Then never mind. I don't. I got nothing wrong with that one. Then <laughs> yeah, I Winter forget Soldier's, what that plane scene was. Winter Soldier is almost a perfect movie. Yeah, almost. exactly. So yeah, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. All right. But um, least. I mean, you did least say a favorite. Lot. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of bad ones. There's a lot of bad. This is the most unbalanced phase where you've got like two at the top. Yeah. And then to me, like Avengers Age of Ultron is kind of in the middle. Like it's still pretty good. Right. It's a middling project. And then Blah, the other three else. are all terrible uh, to me. I know a lot of people like Ant-Man. I'm not one of them. But to me, this is an easy call. Thor the Dark World is. Yeah. Is I think when me. we did our reviews, we both agreed that was probably the worst. And I'm still going to go with that. That, that is. Probably the worst out of all of them. All right. Phase three. Again, starting with Captain America Civil War all the way up to Spider-Man Far From Home. You've got two Spider-Man movies in this phase, two Avengers movies. You've got Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, <clears throat> Captain America Civil War. As we said, there's a ton of really good in phase right. three. Um, my favorite is Avengers Endgame. It's just the one that tied everything together. Mm -hmm. I love it start to finish. I know there are <clears> people <throat> that have quibbles and qualms and don't like the way they, you know, dealt with the final, you know, Captain America and, and Tony Stark thing, or they don't like yeah. time travel in it. I don't care. I love Avengers Endgame. What is your favorite? I mean, I got two Spider-Mans. We know where I'm going to go with this. Uh, uh, well, and... I don't know which one you're going to choose. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong... You know that I'm going to choose one, but just which one? Um, <laughs> I will say I think Far From Home is better than Homecoming. So I'm going to okay. go with Far From Home. Again, Endgame is a great film. It hits the buttons right for me. But I like 
the aftermath of it all and what a teenager has to deal with essentially now losing his next father figure i mean in everything they lost he in their mind even though they won he kind of lost everything so i'm gonna go with that as my favorite okay now Uh, least is gonna be hard though because this face has a lot of good ones it does i think you know for me i think there are three candidates for okay. least favorite in this ca- in this category i would say and and your your mileage may vary um but i would say <laughs> dr strange ant-man and the wasp and captain marvel to me those three are the bottom no, i agree with you. and that doesn't mean i don't i don't like them um right. guardians of the galaxy volume two i think is also very divisive for me personally it's it's one of my least favorites but for me when I look at those four, and I think <clears throat> we're going to disagree here, Ant Man and the Wasp is my least favorite of those kind of bottom <sighs> feeders in this phase. So, if we would have asked me a few, you know, a while back before we did like the re review of everything and all that, uh-huh. Ms. Marvel would have been there. That would have been my Cap- Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Sorry, Captain Marvel would have been my worst because of the way it lands. But then again, as we watched it, as we talked about it in our reviews, I get where your point was. If we had this more at the beginning of everything, it's actually not a terrible film because if we had it more like phase one or two, it would have been a good film. Yeah. Uh, but on, now we had everybody else in there and it was like, yeah, it's, it's a hard one. Yeah, I would, both the, both Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and the Wasp suffer from being in between exactly. Infinity War and Endgame where it's like, ah, this is what, this is the story we're telling. Like mm-hmm. it was like the trade issue of Infinity <clears throat> War came out in November and then they were like, well, we're going to take a month off and we're going to give you, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel. And then we're going to give you Endgame in January. It's like, I'm not going to read December's comics. Right. I, it's like, no, I no, just, no. I'm going to skip those because I'm waiting for end. Uh, exactly. So yeah, it is a and little bit rough. That's why I think on this one, I'll agree with you. Ant-Man and the Wasp was probably the hardest pill to swallow out of those. Because again, it also suffers from a lot of other things that I don't think Captain Marvel can suffer from, but it, and it does suffer some in the same way, but differently. And I just don't like it. Mm. I think, yep. I think the villains were, I don't, I having such a hard time seeing the villain in my head in that film. Ghost. It's ghost. Right? Okay. It's ghost, but okay. I, she's so forgettable. And the actress was good. They, you know, she did what she was supposed to, but sure. it was technically her and giant man that were the villains. Cause giant man was trying to do his thing. And let's face it. He the former giant man because remember he comments that uh it's oh other, Lawrence Fishburne is yeah, yeah Lawrence Fishburne's character. Yeah, see okay. we both don't remember I mean let's face it the only thing memorable is uh what's his name the the comedian Luis uh, Luis yeah just his parts where he's like that shoots him that shoots him that guy's got shoots him man yeah that was it that's all I really care about I'll I'll go watch that yeah. film just for that scene so yeah I okay. agree with you all yeah. right now we're into phase, phase four. four which so again we do- have a yeah, how do you want to do this? Do you want to talk like favorite, least favorite movies and then favorite, least favorite series? Or how do you, do you want to divide them or keep them all together? I think we should divide them because I mean, they're okay. so extreme, especially with the shows. When you throw the okay. shows in there and no offense to anyone who loves the shows, the shows are going to lose out to the movies, I feel like, no matter what. There's maybe like I, one season that might hold up, but that's it. Or yeah, I mean, it's, like. you know, it it depends on, again, your mileage may vary uh, a little bit on that, but right. okay, let's, so let's talk movies. So Again, we've got seven movies to choose yep. from. To me, um, really obvious which one's the bottom. I, although there actually Ooh. are two contenders. Okay. Um, it, but it's The Eternals. Uh, the Ooh, Eternals was yeah. just boring for the most part. Like, it had some cool moments. It had some characters I liked, but there were too many of them. And not enough got fleshed out. And ultimately, it was just too long and and kind of, you know... Uh, boring I, Doctor Strange shout out to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness because I did not really care for that movie either uh, so that one had a chance <laughs> but Eternals Eternals beat you um, Eternals. I don't know for you I mean there's Black Widow and Thor Love and Thunder are the other two that kind of didn't maybe meet expectations I kind of like them both so uh, I mean, again when it comes down to it Eternals is my least favorite God, I'm trying to think of because Okay, so we have Eternals, we have Thor, Love, and Thunder, we have Black Widow, we have Spider-Man, No Way Home. Mm-hmm. Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, Wakanda Forever, Wakanda Forever. Um, and I, I don't that? remember which other, which other, there's seven total, so I don't remember which other ones you mentioned. But uh. Okay. Um, oh, I don't think I said Eternals on my side, so that'd be the seventh, I think. Yeah, okay. Honestly, I'm trying to think out of all of them. Wait, Doctor Strange, that was in this one, right? The new one, mm-hmm. Multiverse? I'm going yeah. to go with that one, actually. 
because yeah. that was a letdown for me on so many levels. I think kind of like how we both saw Thor Love and Thunder and we had these, you know, expectations and certain things we wanted to see. That was multiverse of badness for me. And sure. I think it just let me down too much. And I think I'm even though Eternals, I agree. I want everything you said with Eternals, I agree with. I yeah. think just Doctor Strange didn't didn't hold up the way I was hoping for and what I was going to get uh, out of it. Like I said, the shout out to that movie. It is almost the worst for me as well. Um, but then, you know, when we talk about favorites of this phase in the movies, uh, again, we've got, to me, three really strong contenders in Shang-Chi, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But I don't think this is really a contest as much as I really enjoy Wakanda Forever. And as much as I think Shang-Chi was completely a breath of fresh air, Spider-Man No Way Home uh, is one of the all-time best MCU movies. Uh, and so that is my favorite of phase four. I mean, we know who I'm going to go with. I'm not, do I need to say <laughs> Spider-Man again? <laughs> like every uh, time I do. choose Spider-Man, I'm choosing Spider-Man. So yeah, <laughs> Spider-Man, No Way Home. Uh, especially bring back Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire in yeah. that, and you got every Spider-Man? Yes. All yes, right. Yes, yes. Favorite, least favorite series, right? We've got eight series to talk about. Uh, WandaVision, Falcon, Winter Soldier, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk. My favorite uh, from those is Loki. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I, I, I loved that show from start to finish. I, I, I think every other series has one episode or one storyline that I didn't fully love. Mm-hmm. Uh, Loki did not have that. Loki, I felt like every episode mm-hmm. I loved every you know storyline that gave us i loved all the characters remember. i was totally on board so loki for me is my favorite i'm trying to remember so we have loki we have wanda we had mm-hmm. um what else do we have loki wanda who am i Falcon, missing winter soldier Falcon, hawkeye winter soldier, what if hawkeye, moon knight miss marvel she hulk god that's a tough one for me actually because like I'm trying to think of who had the worst point. You know what? Loki. I'm going to have to go with Loki. I think I like that one the most. There you go. Because uh, everyone else had a falling point that I'm like, I don't know. I don't. Loki was just well-rounded. You're right. All You're right. right. Least favorite TV show, Phase 4. This is a close one. Uh, I am going to go with What If. Uh, I am going to go with that animated show. Nine episodes. I really only liked about three of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and because of the way it's structured where you have a lot of them kind of separate from one another, it just kind of lent itself to kind of not, not even being essential. Uh, and so for me, unfortunately, even though there were a couple episodes I really liked, I'm gonna go with what if is my least favorite. Hmm. You know what? No, I know who my least favorite is. I'm trying to think I'm sitting here and I'm like, it was a bad one. There were some bad ones. I'm still going to go with WandaVision. Because that thing let us down so many possibilities and let you down so freaking hard every it time. It, it was did. like, oh, we have this? Nah. This? Nope. This? Nah, you're good still. Um, Yeah, I think that would be, that honestly would be my least favorite out of all of them. Yeah, I think I'm if I was favorite. doing live action only, if we weren't including the What If animated show, I think WandaVision would also be my least favorite. We were kind of on the same page there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess, if, yeah. Yeah, all right special sure. presentations we really don't need to break this down uh werewolf by night is the best and yep. is also both of our favorites that's yep. easy um I like how you're I, like i don't even need to ask you i just know i guess we'll go with i am groot i don't know the holiday special i am groot are both so insubstantial i just didn't really care for either one they, so yeah i guess i enjoyed <clears> the <throat> holiday special a little bit more than the i am groot shorts which really didn't make me laugh i they were pointless to me. It was like Ben Diesel needed some extra money, I guess. Did Ben Diesel do that one? I didn't think about that. He did. He did. Yeah, I he think. needs some extra money, yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, no. <laughs> but uh, I mean, that kind of covers all of it then, doesn't it now? It, it really does. So ranking the phases right. in terms of, you know, favorites quality, to me, phase three stands out as the best. Um, it's it's the most balanced it's also got some of the you know it's got two great avengers movies two really good spider-man movies black panthers in there um you know captain america civil war people really love you know a lot of people really love guardians volume two like there's a lot in phase three that i think 
easily elevates it to the best. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, and I would say if we're looking at movies only, I think phase two is actually the weakest, even though it's got two amazing ones in, in winter soldier and guardians of the galaxy. Right. Um, but I think that it's really close between phase one, phase two and phase four. If you look at movies only, they're kind of all about similar to me. Um, if you start adding in the series and the specials and all that stuff, it does drag down phase four, right. um, making it to me the worst phase if you include everything, if you look at right. just movies, I think it's phase two. But I think if you do include everything, I think phase four was, unfortunately, even though we had the most things, you had the most potential for bad things. And some of those were not, not great. Um, not wrong. So that's where I said, I think phase three was the best. I think phase two, if you look at movies only, is the, is the worst. And phase four, if you add everything in, is slightly on balance a little bit worse than phase two. Where, what about you? I'm trying to think on it because I mean, it, it kind of comes to something we talked about on the podcast, quantity versus quality. Yep. You know, the last two phases have the most obviously out of everything, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to think of where I want to say the worst ones. I think three is my favorite. Okay. I think there's enough good in there to outweigh. I think they have, we say they have what, about three bad films maybe in there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, but but, but got... out of eleven, and there's some real bangers in there. Again, yeah, exactly. two Spider-Man movies, two Avengers movies that are both really good. Exactly, like, yeah. and that's why I'm like, I'm thinking. It's like I want to say I really loved Phase One because of the first Avenger film started and, it all. Yeah, Iron Man. But... I, I, yeah, I mean the first phase has. Again, I think Iron Man Two and the Incredible Hulk are are <clears> both <throat> kind of weak films, but they're also enjoyable in a right. way that like. Eternals is a more technically made and better film than like the Incredible Hulk, but right. I'd rather watch the Incredible Hulk. Let's be honest. Like right. I think that's a that's a more enjoyable experience. So phase one has like six movies that I would watch. Right. Uh and have watched many, many times. <laughs> Not wrong. And that's what I'm trying to think. I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, who who would I go with? Who do I like? And it's like, yeah, I think I still think there's just so much in phase three, because that's kind of like was the grand was the orchestra whenever they was like okay this is our last concerto this is it and i feel like that was the great send off for that phase for that 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 time piece essentially from one to three so i'm gonna say three is my yeah. favorite but now least and this is where i'm gonna kind of kick myself in the the ass i would say is gonna be four four is gonna be my least favorite because now it becomes you have a lot of bad and you have good don't get me wrong we have some good ones yeah but the bad there's so much more bad there we both know how we both feel about the holiday special for like Guardians and like the Groot stuff we, about some of the series they made with like WandaVision, et cetera. Yeah. And it's like those bad things are just so heavy and hit so much harder for me. And especially the films. If I just want to go with films, yes, you may have some more films I like in it, but those ones that were bad were bad. Like, I, again, I wanted yeah. Doctor Strange to be really good. And I had high <laughs> hopes for it and it just it let me down. Thor Love and Thunder. I think we both had some hopes for that. And that mm -hmm. I think I like the goat joke when it happened more than you guys did. Cause I know you and Chris were about like, this is dumb. Like it got dumb real quick for y'all. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, it's stupid. But then I watched the whole screen rant and I'm like, oh yeah, it's a joke from like 20 years ago. <laughs> it's still running. Um, yeah, I would say it, I think it just it hits too hard. And it's now quantity yeah. over quality. I and you know, and and that's not to say that there aren't still some good projects, but no. I think what really sets it apart is like, I just look at like my personal rankings of the movies. Um, and I look at like my, my top five favorite movies in, in order in the MCU are the Avengers, Avengers Endgame, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Black Panther. Those are my top five. Okay. The first movie from phase four that, that makes the list is Spider-Man No Way Home at number six. But, yeah. you know, Avengers, my favorite movie is in phase one. You know, Avengers Endgame is in phase two, along with Black Panther is my fifth favorite. And then you got Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy, both in phase two. Like, so those three phases are where my favorite movies are. And yeah. as much as I loved Spider-Man No Way Home, and that is my favorite movie of phase four, it doesn't crack the top five, which all of the other phases have at least one movie in that top five. And so that for me, point. 
is kind of what separates. It's like, not only is the on balance, there's not, you know, like phase four didn't really have any top heavy, like this is the best of the MCU for me. I know, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home may be that for you. It may be your favorite MCU movie ever. I don't know. But for me, the phase also didn't have like, one of those oh my gosh this is you know the top the best movie the mcu has ever made which i think you know when the avengers came out that was like my favorite movie it's remained so but when i watched winter soldier or guardians of the galaxy it was like is this better than the avengers i don't know it's really close um avengers endgame is this better than the avengers i don't know it's really close i didn't really have that same reaction with spider-man no way home so that's just me that's just you yeah spider-man's awesome (laughs) So, uh, it, no, put it. it in. Put it in print. Phase four is the worst phase that Marvel has ever made. They should stop making things. Uh, they're oh, awful. Yeah. Uh, it's no. <laughs> it's all downhill from here, guys. Like uh, nothing's gonna be good. Not like Wanda. You know, no, like, good or anything. Let's be excited for Secret Invasion. Let's be excited for Fantastic Echo. Four. Let's be excited for. Well, yeah, Fantastic Four, but certainly, um, you know, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Um, we've got <laughs> we just talked about how much we both love the first two Ant Man films. <laughs> uh, you know, but now we got Kang. Now Kang is here. I mean, we'll love and, it for Kang, and he's here to kill Ant Man. <laughs> if he dies in that, that's going to be the reason we love the film. It's like, yeah, he finally yeah, killed everybody. You know what's really funny is that even though I crapped on both the Ant Man movies, I don't hate them. They're just kind right. of like. They're not my flavor of the MCU. Right. That's all it is. I, a lot of people really like them. And there are some really fun moments in those movies. Um, mm-hmm. I'll put them on and I'll watch them. They're just kind of, they're not, they're not my favorite flavor. That's all. right. No, I get that. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, listening. Tell us down below what your favorite projects of each phase are. And yes. also, I'm curious what, what your favorite or least favorite phase is. How do you think phase four stacks up in comparison to the other phases? Um, is it the best phase ever? Uh, we Maybe both have it as, we, we both have it as our worst, but I think it's not, it's not like a huge drop in quality. And especially if you look at just the movies, I think it's about on par with phase one and two. Um, they're both, they're all kind of like phase three is the standout. Uh, that's my opinion. What do you think? Let us know down below. Definitely, guys. And follow us on all of our platforms at official GYGO at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you want to be. And we will be there. And of course, I'm Aaron and that's Robert. Stay geeky and get your geek on, guys. Bye.